I don't know about you guys, but I've got a drawer full of miscellaneous stuff. We call it the junk drawer. And one of the things in there is a big pile of plastic cutlery, like forks and spoons and things that we've gotten from fast food restaurants. You might want to use something like that in your project as well. Um, now you want to be careful. You don't want to release fumes, but you can hold that over a candle or over a burner on your stove. Just don't get it so hot that it melts and drips or burns because then you're going to have fumes. But you can soften that a little bit. You can see how that melted and I was able to kind of direct the, the ends there. My candle's getting a little bit low. It's starting to get a little bit hard to deal with. But I don't want it down there so low and so long that it starts to burn. But I can use the side of the candle while it's soft to kind of manipulate that a little bit. So if I just use my hands, I might burn myself. But I can create different kinds of shapes with that. Um, and then I could use that once it cools, that's going to become very rigid again. But while it's soft, I can still manipulate it. So like there, I kind of rolled the, the curls over to the edge a little. So I've got some options with that as well.